Hi, Lauren. Hey, Joel. The uh, residents here who had survived this fire say that they were terrified as they woke up to the smoke and the flames that engulfed this two-story apartment building off of Jeffrey Drive. This is part of the summertime apartments complex. And they say that, uh, that some even resorted to jumping off of second floor units just to save themselves. It was so full of flames. Gerald and fire. Rogers was one of the people forced to jump from the second floor from the now burned down property at Summertime Apartments. He says he woke up to the sounds of someone screaming downstairs about the fire at about five in the morning. And I jumped up to go see what they, who was saying it. I walked to the front room and peeped out the door. And all I seen was fire coming from up on, up on the bottom floor. Realizing he and his partner couldn't escape through the front door, Rogers had to think fast. He says he grabbed his partner and they jumped from the second floor unit. I didn't know what to do. I, I, was, I was about to panic because I, I was scared to jump. Rogers and his partner, Peggy Herring, say they were staying with Herring's stepson to look for a new home. Herring says they lost lots of clothes, as well as phones, TVs, and computers in the fire. From now on, I'm keeping my keys in my pocketbook right by my bed and my phone <laughs> so that if anything does happen, I got a phone. I couldn't call anybody. People never expect it'll happen to them, but it did happen to these folks. And so we want to be there to provide help and hope and comfort at this time. And then we'll work with community partners for their long-term needs. And uh, our caseworkers will continue to work with the families as long as it's needed to get them on the road to recovery. Five people were injured in this fire, but thankfully no one died. The American Red Cross Sand Hills chapter was out here earlier today with volunteers. They say that they're still working on helping getting some of the victims who are in need housing, temporary housing, as well as offering financial assistance. Uh, meanwhile, the Fayetteville Fire Department and Police Department say that this investigation is still ongoing. Live in Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.